Hello and welcome back. So let's fix a few things here. Uh, the first of those things is let's just move this view to the marked side so that it's not like this. So quickly here, what I will do is let's go to uh, marked. This is the controller. And at the end here, we have the, uh, let me change this to an underscore as well. We have the marked um, file. So that is going to be exactly the same as the to marked view. So let's copy this and create a new file, paste. And let's change this to part to marked, marked tests. And then instead of to marked, we're going to put marked here. And that's it. So let me save this. And I'll save this as marked.view.php. Okay, good. Then now we're going to copy the to mark ink. So select all, copy. And then let's create a new viewer here, new file, paste. Save this as uh, marked. Where is marked here? Uh, marked. Instead of dot view, it's dot ink because it's an include file. And that's it. So if I click on marked now, I should see this marked tests. No tests were found at this time. So cool. Now I can see that there's something missing here. Let me go back to this. Uh, there we go. Marked. Eh, I think it's okay. It's because of this no tests were found. Uh, let me put a six here instead of a five. Uh, the column span. Okay, that's cool. Let's do the same to the to mark ink at the end. Let's put that column span at six. Okay. Cool. So that's fine to mark. There we go. Now let's fix the date here and then we can fix the search. So let's fix the date. Now to do this, I want to go back to log in as a student, which is guy at yahoo.com password. And then I go to uh, tests and I want to take this test and let me come back here and make sure the submit is at zero. That way I am able to edit things. So once I do that, you see now uh, things are editable. This is good. Let's go to the last one and see. Okay, things are now editable. To confirm that we can edit, let me change this answer here and it stays that way. So cool. Now, if I want to submit, I want to add an extra column here for submitted date. So that should be easy because um, this is on the tech test. So let me close these other files. Let's go to tech tests uh, controller, tech tests. And let's see where we do the submit. If something was posted, no, that's not it. Um, if it's a test submit, this is the one right here. So update answer test set submitted is equal to one. Now here we should add one more thing. So I'm going to put a comma there and say submitted date is equal to, and then I will uh, put full colon here and put the word, uh, I don't know what I'll call it. I'll call it sub underscore date. You can call it whatever you want. Just put the full colon there. So sub date copy. And I will add that to this right here. So these are items in the array that we're going to add. So let me just move this down so we can see this better. What's going on. I'll put a comma there and just duplicate this one and put the sub date here. And then I'm just going to put the current date. So this is easy to do, just put date, but I think we already wrote this code here. So I'm just going to copy that from there. Minus the semicolon, of course. There we go. So that should solve our problem. So let's come back here and let me refresh and submit. Let me see if I can add more answers before submitting. 
so that we can change that 87. Let me just write another an answer and save answers. So now we have 100% answered this. So submit. Are you sure? Yes. Test has been submitted. That's good. So if we come back, we should have a date here now. Okay, very cool. Now, if I load, log out and log in as the lecturer, which is, uh, what's the name of the lecturer again? Uh oh, I have forgotten the name of the lecturer. <sighs> Let me check that real quick. Oh, that's Mr. Vibe. So on his profile, let's just copy his, uh, his uh, email and put password here. Now we go to to mark and as you can see now it shows the submitted date which is awesome and then the answered 100 percent answered this test so very nice now if we come back here we still have nothing so at least this is working fine and we're going to deal with the search so that we're able to search for a particular test here and there as well so currently if i type something like my i'm trying to find this one here and press enter this is what I get an error but if I'm an admin I don't get this error so let me try and let's we go to my profile and copy this just for just to show you what I'm talking about if I'm an admin like yahoo.com password and I go to tests and try to search for my tests uh, it shows me the correct result here okay a and then i get that but if i log out and go in as a lecturer and try the same thing and try my i get this so the reason is if we go to the tests uh dot php controller and when you're an admin you go through this which is okay but when you're not you go through this one so the problem is right here and as you can see there's a problem with a query because it's saying unknown column class lecturers dot test id so i think the whole premise here is wrong because what we're supposed to do is replace this query with another one that does a similar thing now the thing i've realized here is that uh, this one select all from my table which in this case my table is class lecturers because i'm a lecturer where user id is equal to user id so regardless whether uh, it's a search or i'm just getting all of the tests that i have this query should still stand because this is the query that looks for let me go to class lecturers for a second here uh, class lecturers mm -hmm. so in here what we are looking for is the class id because if there were this teacher there could be another row here where the user id is the same there's vibe but then there's a different class id because every class that this person creates creates a new row so same user id but different class id so all we are doing here is collecting all the class ids that belong to this logged in teacher right now so when i'm searching for a particular test i still need to know what classes belong to this teacher so that i can still get only the tests from those classes so it means i'm not supposed to change this query regardless the query i should change is this one right here which looks for the actual tests uh, by the way let me remove this since i'm not using it at all uh, yeah so here the only thing that it does when reading tests it, it just looks for the particular class id okay if that test because if we go to tests tests have class ids as well to t to know which class they belong to so it's only looking for tests that belong to a particular class that belongs to that particular teacher now we just need to add an extra thing here because on the tests table we also have the test id and the test name itself the test title so we just need to tell it that look for a class id of course that belongs to that teacher but at the same time look at the test text itself and just pick the one that the user is searching for 
So this narrows down the search a little bit. So which means we're just supposed to change this query and add some extra content here. That's it. So instead of all this, I'm just going to move this part here. I think it's in the wrong place. It shouldn't replace that. It should come down here instead into this loop and try to replace this query instead. So back here, I'm just going to copy this query because that's the original blueprint and replace it here like this. So oh, what have I done? Let me just select it nicely like so and paste. Okay, so same query here, but now let's incorporate the find in here. Now we're using this array here, which is also being used over here. But once it's used here, it's no longer useful. So we can reuse it here, but it's better to always reset it. And since we're going to be repeating the values here, I think it's better to reset it away from the loop. So let me just do it here and say R is equal to that. That way we reduce. It's always a good idea to reduce the amount of code inside a loop because loops are quite power consuming. So if we can put it out here and still get the same result, then let's put it there. So here now, if we're in the find, now query should still have this content here and won't be using that. So let's replace this with AAR. Let me move this above there and let's put the array here like that. So that regardless whether we pass through the find or not, we're still using array. So I'll copy and I have to put this content inside that array and put it here. Okay, so let me move this to close that up. Boom. Use a space here, remove the arrow and boom. Okay, so cool. So AAR is equal to that and then we use it here. Let's imagine we skip this. So that and then we use it there. But then if we go through this, then it means AAR should have find in there instead. Oh, I see what's wrong with putting this out here. Because if it has find and then, no, actually there's nothing wrong. Because if we have a find, we're still going to loop the same number of times. So it will still work. Anyway, um, once we have that, we will um, add this to the list here, which is good but we just need to add it to the loop as well, to the query, sorry. So here at the end, we just say and uh, test, which is the actual test description or the test name. We'll use like because we are searching and then we'll use find because that's the one we've added here. So and test like find using these as well there, the wildcats, and then we can just say limit one. So we can say limit one because every loop is just has one single class. Uh, where is this? It's a class ID. Uh, yes. No, actually, limit one doesn't make sense here. Anyway, let me remove it just for the sake, just in case I'm wrong. Okay. So now we have a problem. Array key student classes unidentified array key line 53. So let's go there and see what's going on line 53 student classes. Wait a minute. Ah, you see, because I used this here. Hmm. This is very interesting. Array student and I'm using array here as well. What is going on here? This is a uh, weird. Anyway, to avoid conflicts, let's just put a two there and put a two here as well. Put a two there as well and a two here as well. Just to avoid conflicts, right? Because I've overwritten this here again once I got here. I'm just wondering why this has that there. Eh. Regardless, not my issue. Let's just see if it works. Okay, there it works. Let's just try to find the other test. Okay, good. Yeah, so the search is working now. Awesomeness. So we can move this search to these guys as well. 
Okay, for now this is all good. I will see you in the next video.